Assalamualaikum and hello everyone. In this video, we're going to learn about the addition reaction of alkene with hydrogen, with halogen in inert solvent, and then halogen in water, halogen halide, as well as acidified water. Okay, next we're going to predict the products form according to the Markovnikov rule. And then we're going to illustrate the mechanism of the reaction, the addition reaction. But again, yang ini mesti akan cover once we have finished the subtopic. Okay, and then uh, the last one is we're going to predict the product of the reaction between alkene dengan hydrogen bromide in the presence of peroxide. Okay, so let's look for the addition reaction lah. Addition reaction ni is actually, let's look on your notes on page 13. So actually on page 13 and 14 ni adalah your addition reaction of alkene. So please add in your notes the type of reaction. Sebenarnya kalau specific adalah electrophilic addition of your alkene. Okay so why addition? Sebab carbon-carbon double bond is unsaturated and we can form sebenarnya single bond. So sebab tu addition. Electrophilic sebab carbon-carbon double bond is rich with electron maka dia ada nucleophilic side. Maka apa yang kita tambah adalah electrophile. So dia adalah electrophilic addition. Okay, on previous page, kita preparation of alkene ni, elimination, kita ikut set zero. rule. Kalau addition, kita akan ikut Markovnikov rule. So, dia kata kat sini, electrophile akan add to the carbon-carbon double bond with greater number of hydrogen. Tapi, yang tu nantilah kita akan tengok. Ha, tapi, yang first one, kita tengok reaction of hydrogenation adalah addition of hydrogen. Tapi, sebenarnya bukan satu hydrogen kita akan tambah. We're going to add two of our hydrogen to form alkene. Condition dia mesti kena ada hydrogen gas as well as catalyst. Catalyst sebenarnya antara tiga ni lah bukan tiga-tiga in one reaction ok tapi let's look for example A so what we're going to form adalah ok from our double bond dia akan jadi single bond two of our single bond tambahlah dengan hydrogen so in this is the case for hydrogenation so maknanya sama je lah dengan example B you could do it yourself so kalau example C ok yang ni skeletal macam mana ni ok again kita tengok skeletal semua carbon dah cukup empat bond sebab tapi hydrogen is not shown sebab kalau skeletal memang tak tunjuk carbon hydrogen. Okay. So, tapi dalam kes ni, kita tahu dia akan jadi alkin kan. Lepas tu, if we name it, dia adalah metal cyclobutene. So, apa kita akan form adalah metal cyclobutene. So, kalau cyclobutene, maksudnya kita hanya ada segi empat tu dengan one metal. So, how about two hydrogen that we add? Ah, So, there's no need for you to show lah. Just buang sahaja double bond. Okay. Itu sahaja for hydrogenation. Tapi kalau kondens atau skeletal kena tunjuk. Next is halogenation in inert solvent. So addition of halogen. So halogen uh, dia ada Br2 atau Cl2. Tapi kali ni mestilah inert solvent. So bila dia lari je atau practice kita. So kena letaklah atas arrow. Berumit dengan klorin kita buat pluskan so, dengan kita punya uh, alkin. Okay so what we're going to add two of our bromine ataupun two of our Klorin. Okay, so kita tambah sahaja di sini. Okay, so what we're going to add, double bond tu jadi dua single bond. So, kita akan add two of our bromine. Okay, bromine ni, B ni I think you could do yourself. Okay, kalau C pula, kita akan tambahkan dengan two of our klorin. Okay, kalau tadi kita tunjuk, tak perlu tunjuk sebab hidrogen. Kali ni, bila tambah Cl, Cl, we have to show. Okay, masa ada lagi metal, tapi kita add two of our chlorine. So, tu, tunjuk dulu yang kita punya tambah dua bond tu, letaklah Cl di two places. Okay, so that's for hydrogenation and halogenation in inert solvent. For these two cases, it's actually we're adding two identical atoms. So, that's why we two identical atoms, we do not look that much by the Markovnikov rule. Tapi for the third one, we add two different things. Satu adalah our halogen and another one is actually our OH. So, kita kena tengoklah Markovnikov rule ni. Dia kata dekat sini, the electrophile add to the carbon with more hydrogen. So, dalam kes ni, OH atau OH- minus is your nucleophile. Maka, halogen is your electrophile. So, halogen ni, akan we're going to add it to the carbon with more hydrogen. So, tambah kat sini. Okay, and OH will be uh, added to the one with less hydrogen. Okay, so let's look for example A. Example A kita, kita tengok. Okay, setiap carbon ni check. Okay, carbon ni we have two hydrogen. This carbon pun we have two hydrogen attached to it. So, dalam case ni identical sahaja. So, there's no need for us to look more H ke less hydrogen. So, we're going to add anywhere that we want lah. It will be the same. The double bond will be two single point tambah 
uh, halogen dalam kes ni Br dengan OH. Okay, so this is what we call halohydrin. Okay, so dalam kes ni kita tengok. Okay, first carbon ni ada dua hydrogen. This, the second one ada one hydrogen. Okay, so yang ini kamu nampak. Okay, yang ini kenapa one hydrogen? Sebab dia memang satu hydrogen attached. Bukannya empat hydrogen attached to it. Dia satu pada hydrogen, satu pada CH3. Okay, yang C ni yang ada tiga hydrogen. But then this carbon only have one. Okay, so remember... Kita buat kita punya apa ni alkin tu akan jadi alkin kita lah ataupun ada satu single bond ada dua single bond. Remember halogen must be the one with more hydrogen and OH will be the one with the less hydrogen. Okay so that will be the answer for question B. So let's look question C. Okay ni skeleton macam mana pula? Okay remember ni dah cukup empat bond so there's no hydrogen bond lah. Kat sini carbon hydrogen Okay Tapi this one We only have three bond So maknanya There's one more bond Yang kita tak nampak Is actually Carbon hydrogen bond But then here I'm just going to show it to you Okay so dekat sini Dia jadi Okay Baru dah cukup empat bond Okay Yang ni pun cukup empat bond Okay ni zero hydrogen tau Bukan OH Ni one hydrogen So tu dia lah Mana satu more Mana satu less hydrogen Okay So I'm just going to draw the cyclobutene It is sebenarnya tak, tak ada double bond Lepas tu ada methyl Okay lepas tu Yang double bond tu Kita akan form two single bond Remember Halogen yang mana banyak hydrogen Which is with The one with one hydrogen tu Kita akan tambah dengan Halogen Dalam kes ni Chlorine Another one is OH So D You should try it yourself Okay For number 4 and 5 Kalau kamu tengok Ada star dekat sini So what does it mean Is that we're going to learn mechanism Tak tahu nak sedih ke nak happy Tapi hmm. Okay So dalam case of hydration ni Kita akan add um, H1 dengan We're going to add Another one is OH Okay Markov ni Kofro cakap Elektrofal yang akan add Carbon with more hydrogen Okay so dalam case ni uh, Ataupun nak simplify kan Kalau case ni kita trace hydrogen Yang is added to the carbon with more hydrogen Kalau dalam case number 3 ni Tak ada hydrogen So that's why yang tu susah sikit lah Tapi lepas ni Kalau ada H dengan OH uh, H untuk kamu ingat Okay H ni sebenarnya Is your electrophile Eh sorry Eh electrophile betul lah H ni is your electrophile Sebab dia adalah H plus H plus Plus maknanya kurang elektron Dia elektrofile OH ni from OH minus Dia nuclefile lah Okay so maknanya H plus Ataupun elektrofile kita ni Akan add to the carbon with more hydrogen While OH ni carbon with less hydrogen Okay so kita tengok first case ni Dalam case ni sama je Dua-dua ni ada two of hydrogen So uh, anywhere pun kita boleh letak Okay again remember when we draw the uh, molecule okay, Double bond tu akan jadi two single bond So this case kita akan add satu OH Satu H Tak kisah mana-mana Sebab the same case The same number of hydrogen Okay this case kita tengok This carbon only uh, have two hydrogen okay, Tapi this carbon only have one Okay kenapa? Sebab satu je H yang attach pada dia Satu CH3 Satu hydrogen Another carbon Two hydrogen Okay Bila kita draw Remember double bond Jadi two single bond Okay Kita ah, CH3 tolong betulkan Okay Lepas tu ingat Hydrogen mesti carbon more hydrogen OH carbon less hydrogen H ni suka dengan H H to H Macam tu lah So H dengan OH Okay kita tengok pula untuk kes cyclic compound kita guna skeletal structure ni. Okay, for this one, remember that carbon we have four bond. Okay, so dah cukup dah four bond. So, maknanya dia tak ada, tidak ada hydrogen lah attached to the carbon. Okay, but this one only have three. So, what does it mean is ada lagi satu carbon hydrogen bond which is not shown lah. Okay, so what does it mean kat sini dia ada satu hydrogen which means it has more hydrogen. Okay. Lepas tu ingat, okay. Bila dia double bond, dia akan jadi two single bond. Okay, carbon mesti add to more hydrogen kan? Okay, but then again, this is skeletal so there's no need to show hydrogen. So, tak perlu tunjuk lah. Tapi OH kita kena tunjuk. Attach to carbon, that's hydrogen. So, question D, try it yourself. Number 5 is hydrohalogenation. So, what we're going to add, you're going to add H1. Another one is bromine atau chlorine. Depends on your reagent. Okay, dalam kes ni sama juga. Hydrogen is your electrophile. Bromine ataupun chlorine is your nucleophile. So, I'm just going to copy paste it here. Okay. Cuma, uh, tolong uh, please look at your condition here, number 4. So, kenapa condition dia H3O+. Sedangkan ni mesti buat H2O+. 
H2O plus kan So it's the same thing So H plus H3O plus Is your acid Okay For number 5 dengan 4 ni is the same one So kita akan follow Markov ni Kof rule So you should try yourself Cuma mis nak bincang Satu soalan je Which is D Yeah, question C Okay so yang ini uh, Miss label lagi sekali Ni ada kosong hydrogen Sini I have one hydrogen only Okay so again Dalam case ni What we gonna add We gonna add Satu hydrogen Satu lagi bromine Okay so uh, Kalau hydrogen Mestilah add to the carbon With more hydrogen Remember hydrogen Suka dengan hydrogen Okay So there's no need for you to show lah Okay tapi Another one is your bromine Bromine tu kena tunjuk Okay, so that's for question C. Yang lain again, you could do it yourself. Okay, so kalau again hydrogenation dengan halogenation ni simple. So, ada identical je. Tak perlu tengok Markovnikov. Tapi question yang kalau tiga ni yang sus, yang lain sikit. Ha, ingat halogen yang tambah H, OH yang less hydrogen. Okay, tapi number four dengan five ingat yang hydrogen mesti suka dengan ha, carbon yang more hydrogen. Okay, and then hydrogen is actually one of the electrophile species. Okay, that's for the case of Markovnikov rule. For the anti-Markovnikov, the table lip like electrophile add to the carbon with fewer number of hydrogen. So, number 5 dengan 6 ni sama je. We're going to add um, H uh, hydrohalogenation. Tapi, dalam case ni, kalau anti-Markovnikov specifically HBr sahaja dengan mesti ada H2O2 lah. Okay, tu yang lagi famous lagi reagent dia. Okay, so... Kat sini kita akan buat terbalik sikit kat sini. Hydrogen akan add to the carbon with less uh, less hydrogen. Tapi dalam kes ni sebab dia HBr kan. So, bila dia HBr, kita akan add another one is bromine. Chlorine kita tidak ambil lah. Okay, bromine with the carbon with more hydrogen. So, ini terbalik pada Markovnikov rule kita. Okay, so question ini um, sama saja the number of hydrogen. So, sebenarnya tak kisah mana-mana lah. So, mana-mana pun boleh. Remember, dia mestilah H dengan Br. Sebab this reaction is only applicable HBr. Okay, kita tengok question B. Okay, so kita tengok sini two hydrogen. Okay, sini we have one hydrogen. Okay, so uh, remember dalam kes anti-Markovnikov, dia terbalik sikit. Carbon with less uh, carbon hydrogen tu, dia less hydrogen. Ah, Dia nak attach to carbon with less hydrogen itself. Okay. So, yang more hydrogen ni kita akan add dengan bromine. Okay. So, let's do the product itself. Let's do the product. Okay. So, main the double bond jadi two single bond. Ah, kita terbalik lah. Okay. So, ah, remember ni anti-Markovnikov dia lain sikit rules dia. Ah, C dengan D, you should try it yourself. Okay, but most of it, kita akan ikut the Markovnikov rule. Remember, ingat hydrogen add to the carbon with more hydrogen. Ah, uh, Which is uh, H2H, H love dengan hydrogen. So, that is actually your addition reaction.